Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial we're going to be going over what is probably my favorite feature of DaVinci Resolve ever. This is the reason to use the program in my opinion. It makes everything so much faster when you know how to use it. It is remote and local grading. So, what I first thought of this whenever I saw it was, oh this is like, you know, remote desktop to another thing. But then I watched a tutorial on it from Denver Riddle at Color Grading Central I think. He's a really smart guy and if you like color grading stuff check him out, hashtag not sponsored. And I was like, oh, uh, shoot, game changer. So here is what it is. It is basically like a master clip effect inside of Premiere Pro. So uh, with this, I have this great video of my friend Callie for the Curasol Woodshed Sessions. Link for this video will be down in the description below. Be sure to check it out. Curasol is this other thing I do, which is a lot of fun. And these shots are in desperate need of matching. So what you could do is you could go through and you could say, okay, well, I'm going to you know, lower the gain on this one. Actually, I'm going to you know, probably do two up and this guy, select the clips and go through and say, uh, and I'll do a separate tutorial on shot matching later probably, but we'll say that's good. Then you'd normally have to do is go through and copy it to each clip like that. I'm just using middle click on the mouse and that is just tedium. So if you don't want to do that, what you do is you use remote grading. So I have to do is right click, use remote grades. And what this will do is it'll grade the entire clip. So see, I'll do the same thing as before, bring the gamma down, bring the gain down. We'll call that good. Let me lift up a little bit just because we're not. Yeah. So that's good. And now you see it's applied that same grade to all of these clips. And if I make a change, you know, say I want to make this grayscale gorilla looking old grayscale gorilla. You see it makes that change across all the clips. And this can come back to bite you in the butt. But for shot matching and stuff like that, I love it. And then once you're done, you can also do copy remote grades to local. And then if you just wanted to make one thing funny looking, you can do that. So that's normally what I'll do is I'll do shot matching and sort of an initial grade with remote grades. And then I'll do my secondaries and other sort of crazy tracking stuff in local grades. And it is just... It's just the best. It is the best. Man, it's late at night. I'm so happy right now that remote and local grades exist. Whew! This is going to make my job way easier. And it makes your job way easier, which is great. So, anyway, that is just the sort of basic simple of it. It is fantastic. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Misty Media YouTube channel. We have all sorts of great stuff. Also, go to mistymedia.com slash products and check out all that great stuff. We have the Carnival Power Grades, which would be super goofy on this. Let's just check it out real quick. These would be a little dark because these are underexposed. So just watch out. But if we apply... Ooh, this will be weird. Oh, that's cool. That's not even too dark. You see, the great thing with Power Grades is you can have these crazy effects in here, like this chromatic aberration, and a LUT would just poop its pants if you tried to make that happen. On that note, you can also go to mistermedia.com slash products and check out the House Let's Pack. That is House Let's. This would be a log. Let's go to war. That's a little dark since DaVinci Resolve is 32-bit. You can fix that super easily. And now it looks like a wartime scene. Look at that. Crazy. Also, we got light leaks and lens junk, which is like basically me and my buddy michael shine lights through crazy stuff into a sensor and made all these cool things like lens flares and like these goofy and they're great use them for intros outros motion graphics uh overlay it on footage that you think looks bad to make it look good it's great we got 4k and 1080 versions of that and i think that's the gist of it man can you tell that it's 2 30 in the morning and i'm just psyched to be alive once again i've been theo with Mister media have a great day and i will see you next time bye <music>